Good morning, everyone. Hope you're doing well. This is your week two check-in. I know the majority of you have not finished your week one material, and I want to give a quick overview of that really fast. So week one, of course, is this section here. You have a lecture, some chapter readings, and then homework, which is talking about the communication cycle, and then a discussion post, which is one post uh, about your thoughts regarding the chapter and the communication and the book and the PowerPoint, and then another post in regards to um, a reply to another student. So that is due before Sunday end of day. Week two is coming up, and that is already open, so you feel free to get started if you want to get started early. So there's a couple of things in regards to this week that you need to know. There is, of course, a lecture, which is at the top. There always will be a lecture unless we're doing something extremely specific. Um, some nonverbal communication videos, which I think would be really helpful. You have a chapter reading and then a homework assignment, which is just a half-page essay about first impressions. Uh, and feel free to, to answer that as soon as uh, you can. Feel free if you want to submit it early, please do. It's due by Sunday in the day next week. So not this Sunday, but next Sunday. Pretty simple, just reading, lecture, and then one homework assignment, half-page essay. Nothing major. Don't worry about what format to put it in right now. We'll talk about format in the future. Speaking of format, I went ahead and posted your research paper and rubric instructions. I'll really get into that when we jump into written communication, but feel free to open it now if you'd like to look at it. I mean, if you want to start thinking about a healthcare topic you want to do research on, it has to be a healthcare topic, go ahead and start that process. But it's not, I don't think it's, in, it's important to really dive into it until we jump into the written communication section because that's when we're going to really focus on how to write an APA. I want to talk a little bit more about the course. There's been a little confusion. Is it online? Is it in person? And you do have a slotted time in which this course is held every week. However, this is a hybrid course, so your material will be all online. There is a test, which is your final exam, and your paper and presentation, which will more than likely be in person. During your hour or whatever the time period is that you have for the class outlined every week, my suggestion to you is log in, do the work at that time if you can, or do as much of it as you can. Uh, and then if you have any questions, if you want to utilize that time to meet with me, I'm happy to set up Zoom calls, uh, chat over email, whatever works best if there's any confusion. This course is not meant to be super complicated. The majority of you can communicate very effectively. So the goal is to put everyone on a level playing field, make sure we're ready to go moving forward throughout the program. Uh, and so far, it looks like everyone is really buying into that process. Um, if you have any other questions, please don't ever hesitate to reach out. Like I said, happy to set up any Zoom calls. Um, if you want me to do a lecture over Zoom, I'm happy to do that too. But the majority of people have realized, hey, I think it's easier to go through the recordings because I can pause, rewind, fast forward, you know, a lot of different variations that you can't do in person. But that is this week's check-in. If you need anything in relation to the course, please let me know. I'm happy to help in any way, but so far so good. Just make sure you finish week one by tomorrow, and then make sure you finish week two by a week from tomorrow. So if there's any questions in relation to the due dates, please let me know. Looking forward to working with you all the next couple of uh, months, and uh, I appreciate all the work that you put into the class so far. Thanks so much. Have a good weekend.